So this is a supracapsular reconstruction. So this lady, she's 63. She has massive cuff tear, but no pseudopolarysis. Okay. Okay, he has some external rotation, lag side, but subscap is good. Okay. So that is her x-ray. Uh, you can see some proximal migration, right? G63. Okay, there's some proximal migrations, but not too bad. You still have a shine, right? And the articular surface is okay for her. So she has the big size tear. It's a postural superior cuff tear. Okay. No pseudopolarysis. So that is the MRI for these patients. You can see that she has the uh, repairable subscap is thin. Infus by is also torn. See? But cutale is not too bad. It's about three. But the retraction is so far. It's also very thin. The super spinatus. Okay. So uh, I discussed with her that I, I have to plan to do the partial cuff repair or the SCR. Okay. So she prefer to do the SCR. Okay. But she's 63. I think uh, reward is too much for her. You agree? Yes, sir. Yeah. So this patient at that time is long time ago. We do the decubitus. You see that restriction. Actually, this position is okay, but the problem is that it's not easy to repair the cuff in this decubitus position. So we first we harvest the IT band. With lateral decubitus, it's good. You can easily harvest the IT band, right? That is the benefit of this lateral decubitus. So we make the incision over the GT. Okay, identify the GT and then you harvest the graft. Okay. The way to harvest a graft is very tricky. You need to identify the IT band, right? And the length should be about most of the time about 10 centimeter. And the width is about four. Okay. So when you harvest a graft, it should be four by ten. So when you make it double, it will be four by five, right? And you need um, to harvest the intermuscular septum in the back. So that make the calf thicker. Okay. So this calf will be thick in the front. Like that. Okay. So this is the graph. Yeah, it's about four. Okay. It is uh, about five, four by five. And this part should be thicker. Okay. The thicker part is on the middle side. Same like the muscles of the lodator calf. Okay. And I put the suture, okay, like a uh, simple suture. And this suture, I will pass, make it like a shuttle. So the suture should be in different colors. You will not get confused. Okay. It's like that. Okay. Then we do arthroscopic papillations. So we get in, we do the decompressions. Uh, but Mihada, Dr. Mihada, he did not uh, cut the biceps. Yeah, he did not cut the bicep. He tried to keep the bicep, that's the difference. And also he will not repair this side to side to the subscap. You see the upper part is the, actually it's a rotator interval. Okay, it's a part of the rotator interval. Okay. So first, uh, very, you need to clean it very well, right? Clean it to the muscles, tendon junction, cleaning the loof. Cleaning is important. You need to clean it very well, okay? Then do the decompressions. Okay. So after the decompressions. So Mihata also do decompression same like I do. And then body bed preparations. Okay, cleaning the tuberosity. Okay, cleaning tuberosity, cleaning the green oil, okay, and preparing the calf front and back. So this takes some some time for the tissue preparation. You see that the defect is very big. 
okay and then you clean the green oil so make this nice okay and preparing for the graph to put in on the top okay clean the green oil clean the tuberosity preparing your uh, soft tissue front and back in the front is this the rotator interval in the back is the rest of the uh, infraspinatus okay so it's like a rectangular shape defect okay when you put it in and then i do the anchor pressment at the so these two anchor pressment uh, one you uh, going from the the portal just in front of the ac joint right this is the anterior anchor and the posterior anchor also you can come from the uh, your posterior portal okay so that is the middle part but very important you need to make good bleeding at the tuberosity at the green oil side okay and I, I will keep the rest of the cuff you see this is the rest of the cuff I will keep this part and repair this cuff back to my uh, graft so the cuff will be cover the graft again okay I show you later you see that this is the infraspinatus okay the posterior part yeah this is infraspinatus okay so you keep this infraspinatus and also uh, in the front keep the rotator interval i will pass the suture for side to side first like this okay and then pass the suture into okay front and back so you have the uh, this suture will uh when you pass the graph in it would be easy if you pass it later it will not easy when you have the graph inside the defect so pass the suture first because if you pass it later you cannot see it okay how many suture you are passing for each of them pardon how many suture you are passing for each of them i pass one in the front one in the back so okay. this act like the side to side you okay, imagine okay. when you pass the graph in right and then you tie it okay you act like this act like the side to side and when you tie the suture the graph will be spread understand when you grab it in it will be like this like a tissue a lump of tissue when it get in you tie the front you tie the back the graph will be spread understand you yes, spread sir. the graft okay got it yeah and i did the same things for the um anchor at the tuberosity so you know you you spread the graph proximal and distal okay the side to side this is the key when you're doing the scr when you get in first thing is to spread the graft spread it okay like that and then we put the anchor at the tuberosity don't forget to make a micro fracture to promote the healing, right? So we have two anchors at the tuberosity, two anchors at the green oil, okay? So finally, it will be like this, okay? And you see that I pat this suture into, I pat this suture into, in, in, in first spinatus, into the rotator interval, this comma tissues. So when your graph get in, right? Your graph will be spread at four corners you have four corners right four corners you tie side to side side to side also the graph will be spread because we have four corners see like that then prepare the graft so after you finish okay so actually i i have the new techniques that i'm going to publish we call the double silage technique I put two silage into one big silage maybe you can see the next case right and this is the this silage is a uh, very simple you use the um, tube the silage number 10 10 cc silage you cut it okay and then uh, you use it like uh, your cannula Okay, and put the suture in like that, you see? We pack the suture into your graft, okay, from inside, retrieve it one by one, one by one. 
and you pass this suture into your graph instead of trying to repair it inside but repair it outside you just drag it in when you drag in you just tie the knot that's it okay but very careful the suture management is important okay okay then pass the graph in so are you use the you see this needle this needle is coming from the navigator portal so this this portal when you drag the graph in is to go in one direction okay so this is a little bit different from mihata he he tried to push it in but no i myself drag it in pull in not push in it's different it's easier to pull in not push in okay okay you see that this one okay and i use this green you see the green one this green one act like uh, the shuttle that pull the graph into the joint okay this is a free suture this green eti bond okay then uh, make sure you take the cannula out i put my finger in make sure that it can easily get in and then drag it in like that okay so now the graph is getting into the joint uh, Dr. Ban yes uh, how do you pull in the lateral suture you, the navicia portal is to retrieve the right. uh, the, the media suture pull right only the medial suture Okay, the lateral suture, we need to keep it outside. Keep it outside? Yeah, right. Only the medial suture, because you want to pull in one direction, right? You keep the lateral suture outside. Okay. okay. And this is the side to side. Then I retrieve the suture one by one. You see that? Say, so make it in order. Okay. Like this. You see? so one hole we have two sutures you see the tiger one the uh, black tiger tied to the back tiger you need to tie the knot because you know that on the middle side it's thick it's thick so if you didn't uh, tie the knot the problem is you cannot push the graph on the bone okay so i i need to tie the knot on the middle side and your problem of healing is happen at the middle side most of the time Okay, so the middle side you have to do it, um, tie the knot. So this guy will push on the green oil. Okay, and then after that I will push my loaded cuff on the top again. Okay, under surface is a green oil. On the top surface is the loaded cuff. So you have better healing. You have you got the vessel supply from the green oil. You got the vessel supply from the less of the loaded cuff on the top. Okay so uh, you can guarantee the healing of your graft okay like that okay after you uh, manage your suture okay then make a side to side i tell you when you do that side to side repair okay this is the first side to side repair so you already apply the side to side the graft was spread right and then you tie the knot one by one okay like that one by one okay and then this is the side to side for the uh distal part okay and tie the knot over the two blasty okay like that so now it's the uh, you doing like you do loaded the cuff repair but the benefit is that you have less tension okay because this cuff is just put on the uh, defect without tension so you have less chance of failure okay if you try to cover your cuff your graph the um, your loaded cuff be under tension right and sometimes it can be torn again okay then we try to cover side to side 
okay and then we do the suja bridge okay to the tublosti so i think the side to side help a lot because you your graph will be uh can be spread and you have the better secure after you do the side to side repair but dr mihata himself he didn't do the side to side repair to the anterior part he do it just the posterior part okay and then i add some more side to side repair all this i i repair the cuff to the the less of the cuff to cover your graph i mean the proximal So this is after the repair. So this is the graph, right? Coverage, medial side. This is lateral side. Okay. So that's after the repair. This uh, fascia lada. Okay. Okay. That is the SCR for the lateral decubitus. I changed uh, this technique because. Um, I I have problem with the decubitus. It's not easy when you're doing the lateral row. Okay, and also your position is not so comfortable. You need to bend and try to do this way all the time, right? You have your shoulder pain. Okay, and also back pain. So I stopped doing the decubitus for the SCR. Then finally we do the SCR in bit chair position i'm not sure this is the right one i think this should be my lecture on uh, scr okay it should be my lecture on scr uh-huh so that is the graph then we measure and make it double so this is a very old case Hmm. Okay, any questions? That the it's another SCR patient. I think this is the my second case of SCR many years ago. So we did the SCR for him. He's a soldier. And after HCR, okay. At that time, we're doing the HCR in the decubitus. So that is the HCR after the repair, okay. And this is the few weeks after surgery. This is one month. Okay, he still have some stiffness but SCR takes some time for the recovery maybe it's longer yeah this is four months he's getting stronger okay and now it's I think four years now front and back is good you see the healing okay so that's the healing of the SCR okay it looked like a very nice cuff right and the healing at the tuberosity, I think at the beginning it takes longer time. So nowadays I re I cover the cuff. You see, this is a cuff to cover the loaded, uh, to cover the graft again. So after I change this technique, the healing is better and faster. Okay. So that is the post op MRI of uh, one patient. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. May I ask about the uh, mm -hmm. the patient who got the fascia lata cap? Mm -hmm. Did they have a problem of the lateral thigh pain tissue? No, no. Um, at the beginning may have some, but uh, they have no problem with the donor side. But someone someone told me that the patient may have some pain at the 
at the donor side, but I myself, they may complain at the beginning, but uh, six months, no complaint. Okay. I mean, do you need, do, do not yes. need, uh, don't need to cover close the facial data after harvest, right? No, you cannot. It's the, the defect is too big. The I have a question uh, for the site repair. Mm -hmm. Total, how many suture you are putting in for the site repair infra and also subscap? Side to side, right? Uh, one at proximal, one distal, and one in the middle. Okay. Proximal and distal. I mean, at the green noise side, we have one, right? At the two blasty side, we have one side to side. And right. in the middle, we use a free suture. Okay. Free suture, I yeah, see. Same like front and back. So you have side to side, totally six, three in the front, three in the back. Uh, but okay. Mihata, I discussed with him, he, he don't agree to repair the anterior uh, part of the graph to the rotator interval. He said it would be stiff, but I, I think I have no problem. You look at this, right? This is the picture from Mihata. He make a side to side to the back, right? But he leave it at the front. The problem is this graph will not spread if you do this way. I, I feel like that. So I repair the rest of the entry part to the interval. Because this is not subscap. You have the rotator interval, the comma tissue, right? So that tissue you can repair it back to your graph. Okay. So meaning you are not repairing you are not repairing subscap to the no, uh, no, graph. No, subscap is too far. So before the subscap, there's a tissue here, right? The interval. So you repair it to the rest of the tissue. Okay. Okay. And sometimes okay. that's the rest of your cuff because sometimes the cuff retracting like a big L-shaped tear. So some part of the cuff is still there. Okay. So you can repair side to side like this. Okay. Okay. You're using sequence for the, the middle suture, right? For the side repair yeah side to side you can use a uh, suture hook you can use the mini first uh, we prefer mini first or sequence it's fine anything another thing is uh when you repair the remnant of the uh, proximal calf mm -hmm. to the graph mm -hmm. uh, uh how, how do you pass the suture since uh, we have already tied down the suture on the ankle no problem you keep one limb don't cut it, right? And then you uh, put only one limb uh, to the remnant. Yeah, this one here is the good. Uh, you see, very big size tear, cutalier tree, yeah, big size tear. The patient is uh, nearly 70, but I discussed with him, he want to try the SCR. So I think this is my second or my first SCR for him okay he has good subscap also good the uh, infraspinatus so at that time we use this decubitus okay position uh, not easy for decubitus because you're working on the top right and you need to over you need to abduct your shoulder all the time so now as I change to this position you see so this is my uh, update position. I use the uh, beat chair position and you need to prep and drape your hip nicely. You can do the adduction internal rotation. You can make it two team. So one team harvesting the graft, another team doing the uh, preparation of the shoulder. Okay. So that is the way to harvesting the graft. It's a bit tricky. You need to harvest it as thick as possible. Okay. The uh, the tip of the of the graph should be just uh, at the tuberosity tocander level. And you need to um, harvest the intermuscular septum in the back. Yeah, it's very really thicker in the back, thinner in the front, like that. Okay, and then performing vasectomy, cleaning the joint, 
this this should be the revision patients okay remove prepare the tissues so clean it like you have rectangular shape right like this so after the preparations okay and then make it like i show you clean the tuberosity i think it's much easier doing this though, because we we are familiar with the decubitus remove all the superior supra labrum i forget to tell you okay like that don't worry you can remove all the superior labrum okay and then you get these tissues right, rectangular shape you measure the length right okay most of the time it's about uh, four by five okay put the anchor in yeah and very careful when you put the anchor on the grinoid do not penetrate your direction should be from lateral to medial okay not from the top if you're coming from the top like you put it from Naviasa portal you will break your grinoid or you your grinoid can be penetrated into the articular surface okay so direction should be from lateral to medial okay like that and careful the portal jam the uh, the ankle jamming should not put it too close okay and then i passed my suture like this routinely okay one in the front one in the back but mihata will not do this in the front okay and then i pass my the less of the cup you see now uh, this is the less of the cup i lift this off and i pass another suture so after I finish, this is your question, right, Dr. Lim? You asking yes, yes. how I pass my suture finally? I pass the yes. shuttle suture first. You see the see. green uh, and also the purple. I lift the cup up like that. You see this this suture. I will pass my suture finally into the cuff and tie it. Yeah, because if you t uh, put it later, it's not easy because you have no space now the when you you grab inside you have no space now and then put two anchors at the two velocity okay like that okay so you you have this picture okay so one two three four right and then you're preparing like a rectangle like that okay also you put one suture uh, to the pro front one to the back okay when you grab get inside the joint you can spread it easily okay i think you can understand better this is already in the youtube okay put your finger in and then dilate Okay, then I retrieve my suture one by one. Okay, into my uh, graft, but do not confuse. Okay, make it in order one by one. And one hole we have two suture. I clip my graft using the tower clip. Okay, and retrieve uh, the suture one by one into. And you see that I, I need the cannula, right? This one. I think I, I, I show you the double cannula or not. Yeah, this is, I'm not sure it's the most update. Okay. Pass it like that one by one. Okay. So that is for the proximal, proximal part of the graft. You have totally five holes right so the thicker part will be on the middle side like that okay one by one you can see well 
Yes, please, sir. It in order, okay? Because this, this graph is big, you cannot use the suture hook to pass it through. Not easy, okay? And then, uh, this is the old fashioned. Now I change my techniques. Now I also pass the suture into the distal part. Okay, you see that? Then I split my cannula. Okay, this cannula is was cut in the middle. You can split it. Okay. So then you pull the graph in and at the same time you pull and push. Pull and push. You see? This one is on the Navieser portal, the green one. Okay. You pull it up and you push it in also at the same time. Like that. And when you get in, then you spread the graph using the side to side. Okay. Side to side repair. Front and back. One of my fellows, Dr. Uh, Dr. Tent, he graduated two years ago. So you met Tent, right? So I... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, <clears throat> we also did SCR in his hospital. Oh, ah, yeah, right. We go to went there together, right? Yes, so then he did a lot of SCR. Now I think he can do like six patients now in one year. There's so many. Okay. So then tie this the uh, on the green oil. I think so I can understand better because you have some experience. Sir, I have a question about what yeah. if the infraspinatus what if the infraspinatus is torn? Yeah. Do you repair it separately or you Make a bigger graft and tie it to the teres yeah, minor. Yeah, we make a bigger graft because uh, most of the infraspinatus tear is still have some part left. Okay, so the infraspinatus most of the time is not the problem. You can make a bigger graft. Okay. Hey, sir. Thank you, but sir. Subscap is different. Subscap different. If the subscap is irrepairable, you can do cannot do the SCR. But now. Mihata, he's got uh, his, his proposed uh, anterior capsular reconstruction, but uh, I think his result is on the way. He he didn't tell me what is the about his result with the anterior capsular reconstruction. Okay, but nowadays we have just the superior capsular reconstruction. Doctor Lim, you see this the purple right? This purple suture. Yeah. So uh, on my arrow, this is the graft. This is the less of the calf. So uh, okay. you pass the suture after you tie the knot, right? To I this see. purple suture. I see. Okay. And then, yeah, you pass your suture like that to the, because you already passed your suture in, right? Like that. Or you can do it later. Okay. There's two ways. But now but the, uh, another way is that I use the mini first pass to pass it later. That's also fine. Otherwise, you have too, too many sutures. You can feel right. You see that this is after I repair my graft to my uh, supraspinatus, the less of the supraspinatus. So it's act like this. It's cover the graft on the top. Understand? So that, I think that can promote the healing because you got the vessel supply from the top uh, remnant of the cuff, right? And under surface is from the green oil, okay? But the suture you are tying on the remnant won't be sliding anymore, right? Because no, it's no, already... No, no, not sliding. Tied. Just uh, because it's, it's not sliding now because you okay. already tied the knot. I understand. Make it simple like that, okay? understand. Like that. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, sir, uh, I have a clarification. So that the Navashir portal is mainly for the pulling, pulling of the of the graph. Yes. Into yeah. the... right. So Navashir portal is just for uh, pulling uh, the suture in. Okay. And then we try the. This is the front. We're tying the calf to the comma tissues or the lodator into okay that's just the front you see 
we try the three stitches one at the proximal close to the greenoid one at the tuberosity and one in the middle okay don't use not less because this is a thick tissue if you use not less the problem is you have less pressure yeah you need some pressure to make a good contact between your graft and the uh, and the bone underneath on the lateral side you may use the combined knot and not less but for the proximal i think you you need you need to tie the knot otherwise you have less pressure to put your graft onto the bone okay and then the benefit of bit share is that you can rotate front and back so your lateral ankle will be very the front and back will be very wide okay the separate widely you get the um, better suture coverage okay and we make it routinely like six and six right one in the two uh, bicipital groove one cross to the posterior cortex sir did we also fix in 45 degrees abduction yeah like right, Hata, same. Right? yeah okay, sir. yes so that is after the repair see you get the nice tissues good coverage okay and you have less chance of tear you see that after that is before and after the hi is getting uh, better much better after the surgery okay because you have the very thick tissue so i forget to tell you that the thickness should be at least eight millimeters eight millimeters that's the number for mihada okay if you can get 10 i think it's good but eight is is very thick now if you can get thick I think the benefit of this uh, tensor fascia ladder curve is that the tissue is thick compelling to the, the patch so some company they make a commercial patch so that patch cannot comparable to this uh, autograft because our autograft is fairly thick very thick so I think the the uh, one of the very important things for this ACI is the thickness I agree because it's like act like the soft tissue buffer or the spacer. If you have thin spacer, the result will not be good. Okay. You agree with me? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, before and after. Yeah, that's just a nice healing, you see? Before and after the surgery. You see the thick part will be on the Medial side, uh, lateral side will be the thinner part, right? It's nice healing between the greenoid and also the tuberosity. Yeah. So this the patient. Actually, this patient has a serious trauma. He told me he, he I met him him last year. He told me that he fall from the roof. He tried to cut the the trees. A branch of tree on the roof and he fell down and he hang with one hand hang with one hand so <laughs> he used the shoulder the, the the shoulder that was operate to hang um, he's lucky he's not falling down right and he come back to check again how about his uh, SDR okay so you saw the x-ray right it's still good yeah that's mean this ACI is very strong even his falling from the roof and hanging with one hand okay it's still good yeah oh. so you can learn again i think it's in the youtube i i gave many lectures about this acr okay any questions so I have any comment the more yes, senior doctor <laughs> I know one of the one of the reasons that the patch also fail is that they recommend it to attach to the cuff, not to the glenoid. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's a very high tear rate of the patch. Yeah, right. That's one. Of the patch. Right, I agree. 
Also, sir, uh, how do you avoid injury to the? I mean, have you had injury to the supra scapular nerve? Oh no, no, the, sir, it's far away. Uh, far, right? far away, it's far away. Don't worry, because you you're acting on the green oil. If you don't go more than two point five centimeter, it's safe. Okay. Okay, sir. Because we just Thank put you, the anchor on the superior part, like you do slap lesion, same way. Yes, okay? sir. You put the anchor there and then you just pass the suture. Okay, no chance to injure the nerve. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Just to clarify, the Banchal, you, you are doing uh, biceps uh, tenotomy for all the SER cases, right? Uh, right, most of the time, because it's blocked our wheel. But Dr. Mihata, he, he said this bicep. I'm not sure because uh, most of the massive tear like this bicep never good. Okay, you need to do something to your biceps. Okay, uh, I cut it because I think bicep obstruct my view a lot. And your suture can be tangled around the bicep, something like that. So I, I clean it. It's better. I take bicep out. You have a really nice rectangular space, right? So you can put your grab on. It's easier, much easier. Okay. Okay, that means. So I, you should trust your grab. Your grab is big enough that can um, make a good spacer. Okay. And that, that act like the static stabilizer. Okay. Okay. No more questions? Okay, good. Thank you and see you again. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, Thank have a nice day. Thank you, Dr. Banchan. Take care. Thank you, Dr. Banchan.